A few days ago I published a circuit of a say multivibrator and I told in the text box the description of that uh, video that you can make also other frequencies and especially you can use it as a kind of function generator and I told that uh, you could use here instead of the 10k uh, resistors that are going to the base uh, a potentiometer I tested it all over again today and it did not work very very properly it worked in a certain way but the problem is the problem was that uh, it uh, not always started to oscillate and that's one of the problems of the say cl uh, classical two transistor a stable multivibrator and I've talked more about that in earlier videos etc etc so I left the whole circuit as it was and then we have here that 10k uh, potentiometer going to the base of the first transistor that is the BC547 and 10k going to the base of the second transistor that is the BD139 and in that case it always oscillated though <coughs> of course uh, the waveform uh, is perhaps not always what you like anyway uh, it's a function generator now that's the aim of this video uh, very very easy to make two transistor function generator that can work between approximately 70 Hertz and say into the 20 kilohertz range so here the circuit again looks a little bit like the first circuit though there are some adaptations of course the first important adaptation is that we have here a output capacitor of 100 nanofarad so 0.1 microfarad here is a 100k potentiometer and here also say uh, an end capacitor connected to the wiper of the 100k potentiometer and here we take out the signal and the good thing is perhaps also could be the bad thing that when we turn that potentiometer here the waveform changes somewhat let me show that I turn now that potentiometer here 100k Uh, well, there's not a very substantial change in the waveform, though, uh, or there's not such a uh, very uh, uh, sub substantial change in the waveform, but on other frequencies, uh, that will be the case anyway. Of course we use here a linear potentiometer so uh, perhaps we don't have to expect so much changes uh, etc etc so pen over some watt two transistor function generator it works between 70 Hertz and 18 kilohertz and of course here we have two capacitors and these capacitors set both the frequency and also set the duty cycle so when this capacitor is as a high value say 100 nanofarad 
and this one has a 10 nanofarad value, you will compl see comp a completely other waveform with an other with other properties. And then I mean say the energy inside the uh, the square wave. Transistors that are used are the BC547 NPN transistor has an amplification factor of approximately 300 and the BD139 has an amplification factor of approximately 150. You can test that and do that test. Uh, when you want to make the circuit, could be very important when the amplification factor of the transistors is not okay, the whole circuit will not work. Anyway, now we are on 70 Hz approximately with this waveform, say, is this a good square wave? Well, no, not at all. Anyway, it's useful. Surely useful when you want to uh, do tests on certain electronic circuits, say ampli amplifiers, etc. etc. Uh, of, of course, this is a, in a kind of way out of order, but when you send in such a waveform into a hi fi amplifier, uh, you can expect that when that uh, audio amplifier uh, performs perfectly in terms of linearity that you find this waveform again at the output of the audio amplifier but on the other hand well such every audio amplifier uh, drives say a low impedance coil that's a loudspeaker coil and that will give distortion anyway I don't want to get into more or less very compli complicated uh, discussions so here the circuit again from a certain distance I hope you can read it very properly of course these capacitor sets the frequency and this is that first circuit where it was all derived of. Uh, now we have here uh, say a switch that switches in different capacitors C1, uh, C2 etc and in fact it's completely the same circuit. Anyway, uh, that was perhaps very important to tell, so uh, don't get messed up uh, with the idea that this is a completely other circuit. Here is the capacitor that I've used and it's 1.5 uh, microfarad here also 1.5 microfarad so we have here now 1.5 microfarad and here 1.5 microfarad the frequency will of course drop to a very very low level not only a level but, but, but the frequency by itself so I lift up now here I take that capacitor out, I take also the other capacitor out, so the bare situation is that we have now in this circuit two capacitors of 4 and 7, that means 4700 picofarad. So now we go from the lowest frequency possible, 70 Hz, to the highest frequency possible, and it still oscillates. That's of course very important. 
uh, highest frequency at the moment is 14.5 kilohertz. It means that you can use this circuit as a kind of test oscillator as a uh, square wave oscillator and also as a, a function oscillator. Important to tell a uh, 14.4 kilohertz etc. etc. The waveform is okay so uh, when you want to use this circuit as a function oscillator uh, that's what I wanted to tell the, the supply voltage is also very important to the frequency that's generated so with certain capacitors uh, say 10 nanofarad or 4.7 nanofarad and changing the voltage supply you can go to other frequencies so that means that such a circuit is very uh, usable changing the voltage is in fact very very easy now we are on 20 volts and with these uh, 4 and 7 capacitors 4700 picofarad capacitors we are on this high frequency though that's very good we can even go higher 28 kilohertz anyway so I think this is a useful circuit to make a function generator. Uh, with some switches here, here a switch and here a switch and uh, of course when you uh, when the when the capacitor don't match you have another waveform etc etc so I think it's useful for hobby purposes and even professional purposes. That does not have to be a problem. Thanks for watching. And the good thing is that the circuit always oscillates with all kinds of capacitors between say 4 and 7 that is 4700 uh, picofarad and uh, 1.5 uh, microfarad. And that's, a, that's an important thing. Often these circuits, perhaps on the World Wide Web, I don't know that exactly, don't want to oscillate on different frequencies.